thank you for joining us. You know what it is tonight? It is opening night in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark and the Fever face the Connecticut Sun in front of a sold-out crowd because, of course, it is, yeah. right? How her game will change at the next level. We've got full coverage ahead. Plus, how do the Falcons manage the quarterback room after drafting Michael Penix Jr.? You'll hear from Kirk Cousins and PTI on who they have more confidence in, the Knicks or the Pacers. That series is now a best of three as the Gardner Nice game, and Holly, you have been following this Caitlin Clark phenomenon, if you will, for a very long time. Can you share the anticipation of what's about to come tonight for her? Again, South Carolina. I mean, talk about a quick turnaround. How is she handling this whirlwind of the last month? No doubt about it. It doesn't get easier because Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever have to play four games over the next seven days, two of which against the Connecticut Sun. Holly Rowe on the scene there. Thank you, Holly. We appreciate the insight. Hextel is on the scene in Sunrise, Florida. And Leah, let's talk more about these Bruins because what is their mind mindset in terms of trying to bounce back after they blew a two-goal lead in Game 4? Go back to Bennett because you mentioned him, that controversial third-period goal in Game 4 that would tie the game with the Panther Panthers eventually won. What impact is Bennett having in this series? Going to be on the call for Bruins Panthers Game 5, top of the hour, right here on ESPN. She's got fans behind her waving around. Doesn't phase her at all. Leah, thank you so much.